Welcome to Electron Online. Our next example looks simple enough, but again, it shows some very important rules here. We have a radical with an x squared y in the numerator and a 100 in the denominator. We're going to rewrite that one first. We're going to rewrite it as follows. This can be written as the square root of x squared y over 10 squared, because after all, 100 is the same as 10 squared. But we know the rule that the square root of something squared, we can simply take that outside the radical. So the square root of x squared is simply x, so this can be written as x divided by, because the square, root of the square root of 10 squared is also 10, and then the only thing we cannot take out the radical sign is y. So this becomes x over 10 times the square root of y, and if you don't like the radical symbol, you can say, well, this can be written as x divided by 10, times y to the one-half power. However, if you can leave the radical sign in, that would be a simplified form of our original problem. Again, the rule is the square root of something squared, you simply take it outside the radical sign, and here 100 can be written as 10 squared, the square root of 10 squared can be written as 10. Of course, this, since this is the denominator, it should stay in the denominator like that, and that's how it's done.